So are all speech-to-text apps created equally? Well, that's something I've wondered recently. And the reason is because I like to capture my ideas just quickly. A lot of times I'm not at my computer. I've got my phone with me and I just wanna be able to talk out an idea. I do that with voice memos. The problem with voice memos is they're not an easy way to transcribe it. Like it doesn't transcribe it while you're talking. It is free, I like that part. What I started doing is playing around with three apps. And in this video, I wanna show you those three apps and how they can actually transcribe what you're saying in real time and they're free. Did I mention that? I like free, I hope you like free. Now, everything I'm gonna show you could do on a desktop, but I'm gonna be using the iPhone because that's typically what I use. I've, I've got it with me all the time. If you've never used dictation like the microphone, you have to make sure it's set up in settings. So here's what you do. You go to settings and you wanna go to general and you wanna go all the way down to, where is it, where is it? Keyboard, right there and make sure enable dictation is turned on and then the little mic will appear along with the keyboard on all of these apps. The first app we're gonna look at is Apple Notes, which comes free with your iPhone. I mean, after you pay for the iPhone. So when you launch it, we're gonna hit the little note icon. And if you notice right there in the lower right-hand corner is the mic. I have a quote from Tony Dungy because what I thought is I would like read or you know speak the same thing in all three apps. So therefore we can see just how close this is. So I hit, how would you live differently if you really believe that God had intentionally designed you to impact others, period, new paragraph. What would you attempt if you were fully convinced he was backing you? period, new paragraph. The fact is when you believe you were designed for a purpose, you will live with purpose. Hit the mic and there it is. And if we hit done, you can see the text right there and it looks pretty spot on. And if you're new to Apple Notes from here, you can actually share this somewhere. You could edit it some more, but this is a great way to use. I use Apple Notes for everything, for all my scripts, for just quick notes and everything. Okay, the next app is Google Keep. We're gonna launch that and we're gonna hit the little plus down there. Now you can title it at this point if you want. I'm not going to, but again, there's the mic down in the corner. How would you live differently if you really believe that God had intentionally designed you to impact others, period, new paragraph? What would you attempt if you were fully convinced he was backing you, period, new paragraph? The fact is that when you believe you were designed for a purpose, you will live with purpose, period. There it is. And again, I think it captures it really well. Now, Google Keep has a lot of other things you can do as well, but this is just focused on text to, I mean, speech to text. All right, now let's look at Google Docs. Now, I, I use Apple Notes for everything. Probably second to that is Google Docs, but Google Docs has something really cool built in that takes this almost to another level. So what we do, we launch it, and a lot like Google Keep, you hit the little plus at the bottom. I want a new document, and we can title if we want. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Create. And again, there's the microphone. How would you live differently if you really believe that God had intentionally designed you to impact others? Period. New paragraph. What would you attempt if you were fully convinced he was backing you? Period. New paragraph. The fact is, when you believe you were designed for a purpose, you will live with purpose. Period. It looks like it captured it very well, but let me show you what's really cool about Google Docs. Now of all the three, Google Docs has one thing the other ones doesn't, and it's built in AI. So let me show you this. Now this is a quote, so it may change it a little differently, but just imagine if you wanted to use the AI built in to enhance what you've said. Watch this. I can highlight all that, and I go to the little blinking uh, pencil, and I can change the tone. I can summarize, bulletize, elaborate, Let's rephrase this. We're rephrasing somebody's quote, but I just wanna show you this to see how it would work. Now look at this. You can insert this, and if you go all the way up here, this is where it was right there, so we're gonna back it off. So this is what it just redid. I can take this, and you can do this as many times as you want, and let's say I want to elaborate on that. And you'll notice that once it does this, you have the option to insert it. And if you insert it, it doesn't cover up what you've done. If you hit replace, it will replace everything you've just done. I'm gonna hit insert there. I'm gonna go in here and pause or, or hit a space. And now look at what it's done. But you could even go one step further. And you might not wanna do this all on a quote, but just to show you when you click here, 
you can also do custom as well. So you have so many options here with Google Docs. So just imagine if you were using this for a way just to, to talk out a newsletter or talk out a script or something like that. And then you could use the built-in AI to take your words and kind of transcribe it for there. Now, something I quickly found out is that if I didn't give it any punctuation while I was talking, that it would transcribe everything. Actually, all three of these would, but it would just do it in a big, block of text. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing, but then I've got to turn around and format it. So I thought, hmm, is there a way to format it while I'm talking? And there is. When you end a sentence, it's important to say period, because all three of these apps picked up on punctuation, saying punctuation. If I just said stop, it actually spelled stop out. And to start a new paragraph, you literally say new paragraph. That's just a tip if you want it to actually format as you're talking. So Apple Notes, Google Keep, Google Docs, which one did you think did best? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, personally, I like Apple Notes for everything, all my notes, but I do like the AI feature built into Google Docs. And remember, all these are free. So I hope you enjoyed this. Consider subscribing if you did. Check out the videos on the screen now, and I'll see you next time.